First, I'm going to show you how to make the stripe design. To make this design, you only need to know how to do the right-handed knot. To start, pick out your five favorite colors, and I've already picked out mine. And before we get started, a word of advice, the butterfly clip up here, you can move it up and down when your strings get shorter so that it's easier to make. Once you have your five favorite colors, line them up and then fold the string in half. Take all of the strings at the top and make a knot a half an inch away. This knot will help you hold your bracelet in place under the butterfly clip. Make sure you pull it tight. Next, put the knot underneath the butterfly clip and give it a little tug to make sure it's in place. And for the stripe design, you can put the strings in any order that you want. Just remember, the order that you place your strings in now are going to be the order of your stripes. There should be one string in each slot. To begin, pick up string number one in your right hand and string number two in your left hand. To do a right-handed knot, make a four and then pull the string up through the center. Pull it tight towards the top. Make another four, pull your string through the center and pull it up towards the top. The string that was in slot number two is now going to go in slot number one and pick up the string in slot number three. And this will be another double right-handed knot. Make another four and pull your string through the center. Now the string from slot number three will go in number two and you pick up your next string. Make another double right-handed knot and all the while your original number one string should stay in your right hand. Pick up your number five string, make another four, and one more. Make sure you pull it tight towards the top. Your number five string will go in your number four slot and pick up the next one. So now you're holding your number six. Another double right-handed knot and place the number six in the number five. Bring up the number seven and make another double right-handed knot. Your number seven string will go in the sixth slot and pick up the eight. Do another double right-handed knot. Place eight in number seven and pick up the number nine string and repeat the same double right-handed knot. Put the nine in number eight and pick up your last string in the number ten slot and do another double right-handed knot. The ten string should go in the nine slot and your first stripe all the way over, you'll just place it in your 10th spot. And now we'll start all the way from the beginning again. Pick up the number one string in your right hand, your number two in your left, and make a double right-handed knot. Your number two moves to your number one, pick up your number three, and it's another double right-handed knot. Three moves to two, and pick up four. All the while, your original number one string should stay in your hand. Four goes to three and pick up five. And repeat the double right-handed knot. Always make sure you're doing two knots. Pick up your next string. So for this pattern, you're always working your way to the right, one string at a time. Six will go on five and pick up seven. Seven will move to six and pick up your eight. Eight goes to seven, pick up nine. And you've almost completed your second stripe. Nine goes to eight and pick up your last string. Complete the double right-handed knot. The 10 will move to the nine and your leftover string will move to the 10. As you get to your third stripe, you should see your pattern start to emerge. It may be a little small in the beginning, but you'll see it start to grow. The more stripes you make, the longer your bracelet will grow. Just remember, when you're making these double right-handed knots, to pull your string nice and tight. As you can see, after I make a right-handed knot, I take the end of my string and pull it tight 
towards the butterfly clip. When you think your bracelet's long enough, unclip it from the butterfly clip and wrap it around your wrist. This one's the perfect size for me, so I'm going to show you how to finish it off. Put your loop back under the butterfly clip, take three strings from the left and three from the right. Use these to make a simple braid. The braid will help you finish off your bracelet. You can make your braid as long as you like or until you run out of string. But the longer it is, the easier it is to work with. Once you make your braid, just loop the string around all together to make a knot at the bottom. Push your knot up towards your friendship bracelet and make one more knot. This knot will be right on top of your first knot. Pull it nice and tight. Then you can unclip your bracelet, cut off the loose edges, and the knot should fit right inside the circle you made in the beginning. Now that your bracelet's complete, feel free to wear it yourself or share it with your friends and neighbors.